In this series of tutorials, you're going to learn how to create your own platform game using Scratch. Here's an example. The player is the little rubber duck in the middle of the screen. And as you can see, the player is able to navigate a platform and try to reach the portal on the right hand side. As soon as the player reaches the portal, they go up a level. And here's level two. Again, the player tries to navigate the levels and those levels get harder and harder. And each time they're able to get to the next level by reaching the portal. However, you can see that there is a yellow balloon flying around and this rubber duck is terrified of yellow balloons. And unfortunately, if we happen to touch the yellow balloon, as you can see, the rubber duck is sent back to the beginning of the level and we've also lost a life. You can see at the, bottom, at the top right corner, we have lives here. So if we lose all of our lives, then we're going to end up starting right back at the beginning of level one. Oh, there we are. We just lost another level, uh, another life. Um, so it's a pretty stupid game. A uh, little bit of fun. Um, but the idea of this is that I will teach you how to create the mechanics of a game like this. So I'll teach you how to be able to allow the character to move around and jump and fall and act as though there's gravity. I'll teach you how to create a platform for the player to jump on. And I'll also teach you how to create a portal that will allow the player to go from one level to the next. I'll also show you how to um, add an enemy so that the uh, game gets more and more difficult, how to add levels to your game um, so the game carries on, and how to play around with the idea of backgrounds and sprites and animation and all that sort of stuff as well, including sound. So all these video tutorials will take you all the way through creating an entire platform game. However, the real work is down to you because this little game here is a pretty silly uh, little example. Uh, it's just a bit of fun. You're going to come up with your own idea. So your imagination really is the thing that's going to uh, work here. Whatever story you can come up with, whatever plot you can come up with, whatever characters and scenery and backgrounds you can come up with, what the whole purpose of the game is, um, that's really down to you. Uh, how mean the game is, how friendly the game is, that's all down to you. So it's your imagination at the end of the day that's going to be able to make this game something that people will want to really play and share and talk about. Of course, the beauty of Scratch is that your games are able to be shared online. And uh, that's something that you can do as well so that your friends are able to play your game, try it out um, and see what they think of it. So um, when you're ready, um, what you'll need to do is to head over to scratch.mit.edu and get yourself an account or log in if you already have one. Once you have an account and you're logged in, you need to head to the Create tab at the top left here, and that will get you to a brand new Scratch game. So when you've done all that and you're ready to begin, let's head over to the second lesson. 